Hello everyone, welcome to Carolina Girl Reese. Teresa, I'm back. Um, today I'm going to be making something a little different. And I want to tell you all, you've probably seen it through other um, tutorials. But I was looking through the weekend at some different things. And I've seen these myself and I said, I'm going to try to make one one day. So, if you've seen it before... Then I still ask that you might would join, stay with me and watch me make it, and we'll make it together. I hope it turns out right, because I hadn't pre-made it. It's going to be live. <laughs> but what I mean is making it the first time. But anyhow, first of all, I want to say welcome back, everybody. My subscribers, my faithful buddy, wreath friends, newbies, welcome. If it's your first time, please come back. I have some really other tutorials you might like. Um... And if you do, just like and subscribe, please. I'd appreciate it so much. Um, I want to do this for people to help maybe somebody and just enjoy if it's meeting you over the YouTube channel. So, I hope everybody's having a happy day. It's Tuesday, and we're still enduring the heat here in North Carolina, but no break yet. But anyhow, let's, let's make this wreath together, okay? So, what we're making, it's called my... Creepy Skeleton Swag on an Artificial Halloween Tree. And I'm going to be using the Cruffle Method. And it's really easy and simple. Now I say that, but for me sometimes, I don't know. So anyway, here's what you're going to need. Okay? This is a tree that you're going to be using from Dollar Tree, of course. And it's just the artificial little Halloween tree they have. You get one in a box. Okay? So we're going to be using this. And, of course, I'll go ahead and show you my creepy skeleton sign. Look, thought he's so cute. He's so cute and handsome at the same time. I'm going to be using him. And he also can't come with a welcome sign with him, which I just took my stick off. Okay. And we're going to be using a variety of ribbon here. Um, some stripes, skeletons. Solid black. Let's see, you'll need some zip ties. You'll need at least a couple of, oh, three or four eight inch zip ties. Or maybe six might could even work, but, and then, of course, my mesh is going to be, I really wanted to use black for this, but I'm out completely. I've got to get me some mesh if I could even do my Christmas. So, I'm using the little bit of this copper orange I have left, and a little bit more darker, like a, maybe a light brown or has some copper to it. So my mesh will come from the um, craft outlet. And I thought it would go with the skeleton steel because of the, the color in his head, hat. So I'm going to be using that. And then even I've got some little balls. Creepy Halloween balls. So that's pretty much all you'll need except for your, uh, you know, the main things you work with. Your glue gun, you know, scissors, rotary cutter, just all the essentials. Okay? So, I'm going to get started and show you what I've already pulled out of the box here. Okay, so, here's what you're going to have when you take it out of the box. You, one tree, of course, y'all probably know this. And I've already got to pull apart. Okay, she comes with the stems, which we don't need. I tossed away. And then she has some ends on her. And I tossed it away because I don't need it. But, you're going to have to buy two. Okay, two for the project. Okay? So, let me show you. Let me get you down here. And thank you all for being with me today. Okay, let me sit down here a while. I do better sometimes a little bit sit. Okay, so what we're going to do here, when you take all your stuff off your little trees, we're just going to put the two stems together. See how I'm kind of sliding them down together to the, in other words, just on top of one another. And, okay, you just want to put them together. And that's where you're going to use your big um, zip ties. I have a couple of 80 inch, but you could probably use pipe plungers if you don't have any, but you'll have to really get them tight, okay? So we're just going to take her here in the middle. Let's see, I'm going to try to get her going first for I... We're just hooking the two together. A struggle at first. Well, it is for me. <laughs> Just hold on to them the best you can. 
zip tie that baby. Come on now. Well, I should get my pliers out, but okay. You're probably gonna have to put a couple because of the area. So we're gonna put a couple more. Okay. It's down here. Get it together. And I tell you, after watching, I've probably seen two or three others make this because I went, I've done some, uh, just some viewing myself over the weekend. It's so hot outside. We was outside a little bit doing some fun and, well, we try to get together with my family and do some fun and games and stuff and all, but I had to come in. That's why I made the other tutorial the other day, the square one, because I couldn't take the heat. I mean, we had a shade up and on stuff, but it was still too hot. I hope everybody had a nice one, whatever you did. Okay. And then I'm going to add one more down here at this end. Just so she won't come apart on you. So I have, I've got two six inches I'm using, actually one eight inch for the middle. So I think that works pretty good. Okay, and then just snap them off. And then you're going to have your two trees put together. Okay? Just like that. Let's see. Can the lighting good for y'all? Just like that. And I thought it was really neat because, see, on these little trees, you've got your pipe cleaner stems. Really? Actually, that's what they are. I mean, they are to me anyway. So you just want to go ahead and open all them up, which I had already done. Just open them all up the best you can. Have them all out on both trees. Okay? So this is going to be for, like, your... Um, Pipe cleaners. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the top out of the way, though. We're going to put a hook on the top. Okay, whichever end you want to use. And I'm going to take, uh, what I'm going to do here is take some ribbon. Get you some ribbon. And wrap it around like, of course you'll need your glue gun for this. Mm, guess what, guys? I haven't got mine turned on. I'll do this top. Let me, let me plug it up right quick. I can't work without my glue gun, and I told y'all to have one, didn't I? <laughs> it's going to be a day, guys. I think the heat is really getting to me. All right. So we'll have her ready in a minute for the top there. We'll make a little loop on her. So in the meantime, we're just going to take her air of trees here, and we're going to take her mesh and make her cruffles. And I'm going to be doing 20-inch cruffles, all at 20 inches. And you can use any color you want. Okay, so the cruffles are cut at 20 inches, and I've got them all cut. And let's see, I'm one, two, two, four, five, six. I've got uh, eight. I've got eight cut at 20 inches, okay? And you can always add more later if you want more on your uh, swag, but I've started with eight at 20 inches. So for the cruffle, if you, if you don't know anybody, curl side up. And you just um, see. start curling one end a little bit. A couple times when I give it, clip it, turn it around. Okay. Same way on the other end, but you don't want to clip it yet. You're just going to take it and just fingers and thumb together if you don't have a scratch and pull it up like a little dam's holding your middle. And pull it up with the other fingers just to you. Scrunch it up to you. Till you meet the other end. Okay. And there you have like your cruffle. Cruffle here, ruffle there. Okay, cruffle, ruffle. And what we're going to do is just going to go on, let's see, one of the pipe cleaners here, or one well, of the tree extensions. Or we'll, and we're going to place them. I'm going to have like maybe one here. One here and one up there, okay? So kind of space them out a little bit. So we're gonna put our first one right here. And this is so neat. See how the, I was looking for the pipe cleaner, but you just use the tree tinsel. Tighten it in there. It's so cool. I mean, look at that. It's so, what a neat idea. Okay, so I'm gonna go on with the other one. Now I'm gonna, let's see. I'm gonna use the same colors on the sides here. Curl side up and you just want to 
Rise again. Three. These are honestly really neat though with the with the stems. I mean heck. <laughs> Excuse me. You don't have to worry about no pine cleaners. Even if you don't have any. <laughs> Our next cruffle. I'm gonna go up maybe somewhere right along here. So neat. How it just how it just hold the okay, see how we got that? It's really neat. Okay, then I'm gonna turn around to the other side. You know guys. I really don't have to tell you how to do your crop. I mean, you can place them anyhow, any way you want to on your little tree here. It's totally up to you. And just like your wreaths and and the things you make that I tell you, your bows, it's your wreath or bow or swag. So you place them how you like. So today, since I'm showing you how I'm doing it, I'll probably go back and place some later if I'm not satisfied with it, with, you know, how it looks. So here you go, anybody that's never ever saw this, this way on an artificial tree. This is just an awesome way of making a little swag. Okay, I'm gonna go on this side, kind of One more. Let's see. So everyone, I would like to ha hear how you are doing. Every one of you that, well, my faithful ones, and I do have some faithful ones. I'm, I mean, I care for all you all, and I thank every subscriber I have. But I must say, I do have some that really, I just, I don't know, I don't know how to put it. We just, uh kind of got a wreath relationship. How's that? I mean, I, don't, I can always just, I know they watch my videos. I know they have inspired me, but I kind of like to hear how everybody had a, what you do this weekend? Uh, sometimes I just like to hear things about you guys. I mean, I know it's a wreath tutorial, but it's also a way just to get to know my buddies too. And so sometimes let, let me know. That'd be something that I'd be interested in. Seeing how everybody spent their weekend or just what's going on in your everyday life. Okay, so so far we've got four cruffles. See how that's already kind of looking good? Okay, so now I'm going to place, let's see, I've got four there. I'm going to place a couple, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple top, okay, and leave you with that. So I'm changing to my orange here. And the colors are totally to you. I really like to have some black, but I think it's, it will still stand out because he's got the black hat. Okay. going to take her and put her in like we would do our other swag. If you've ever seen any, any of my other swag tutorials, anyone, any newbies, you know, you can go back and look. Instead of using the wood stick or paint stick, we're just using a different, um, different item to place her, to make her swag with. So I'm just going to go in here and kind of put my cruffle here on top that I just made here. Just find you a, um, uh, we'll call these tinsels, yeah. So we're putting that in on the top there. Then I'm going to place my other one right down below it some. Because Mr. Mr. He looks like Franklin. I don't know. I just kind of get that out of him. My Franklin Scarecrow head. 
This looks like he'd be Calvin Franklin. <laughs> We're gonna place him in the center there. Okay. On down here a little bit below that one. You sure have your choice of tinsels to tie though. It want to be great when I put my balls on, the Halloween balls. All you gotta do is feed them through the tinsel. That's awesome too. So so here we go with this, this much. We've got the this is gonna be my front of it. So we've got that and the cruffles on each side. And let's see there again. We're going to add more to the back. Well, like I said, I started off with these eight pieces. It's totally up to you. Or six. I'm going to go ahead and put two more somewhere. But it's totally up to you. So I'm giving you an idea now how to do that. So now I'm going to show you. We're going to, let's see. My glue gun's about ready to go. Franklin here. If you know anybody, anybody wants to name him, Maisie. Anybody wants to give him a new name, it's fine with me. But I think he just. I guess I get that from Frankenstein look, and then he's a skeleton. But we're gonna put him right in the center here of our cruffles in a minute, put him on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him fixed, and y'all got the idea so far about the cruffles in the trees, okay? And I'll be right back, and we're gonna finish them up together, okay? Okay guys, so I've got all my eight pieces in, and I'll tell you something I just discovered now really cool. If you're not happy where your cruffles, like kind of the colors, if you want to twist them around, your tree, your tree will twist. Just take it and twist it. It'll twist. And I kind of turned mine to where I kind of wanted them to, where I had two orange on the top, I kind of done it to where I have this now. So yeah, it'll twist. So twist it to how you want it to be. Okay? So we're ready to put Mr. Mr. Frankenstein on. Um, Frank, Frank. I want to say Franklin. Um, he's all ready to go, and I did put my pipe cleaner on him in the back here. Um, actually, I used a big long one this time. And I, I just started doing this too. Maybe it helps. I see other people do it. I put a piece of ribbon over it to just keep it on there a little bit. I just thought I'd try that. So I'm just going to take him here and place him in like we would a sign on our wreath. So we're placing him on our Christmas trees. I'm just gonna put him down in here. I think I'm gonna put him somewhere up a little higher because my sign, welcome sign, I'm gonna put down here. So I'm gonna put him up a little higher and just take him, um, your pipe cleaners and like you would your wreath, but take him and try to just find the back of your tree here, the little, little pieces we tied together. See how I've got him all the way under? And just take your pipe cleaners and twist them to where you want him on. Give a pretty good tight twist. And stay up there. Okay, if you can see him, it's hard to show this being up and down. You can see him. We've got him on there. And you just work with everything how you want it to be. Okay, we're not finished yet. We're going to give him a little more decor. I got a bow tie made for his little neck, so we're going to put that on, and let's see, I made this actually, so it's a simple little bow, I can do a little simple one, just made a simple little bow here, I went ahead and made it, and if you don't know how to do one by hand like this, this is the only kind I can do, just a plain one with my hands, but I can, there is a, anybody new, I have a tutorial with how to make a simple bow, double bow, or just a plain, you know, on my um, tutorial, how to make a, on my bow dabra, on my bow dabra. Okay. So that's his little bow tie, and I just put a pipe clean around it, and my husband here for me had a little drill, so I put a little hole in his neck, the side instead of wanting to glue it on, just insert my pipe clean through, or you can glue it on, it's up to you. I'm gonna put this in here on him. Give him a little, little fancy look. 
head, twist it around. Put it on. You got a big old bow tie. Okay, you can see that. Guys, let me see. It's just hard to get him. Okay, he's got his bow tie on now. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is show you how to do the Christmas balls that I'm gonna put on. And what I like about it, the little things here that you do the hang with the ornaments in, the what you call those things you put through here, guys? I forget, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm just gonna go a few places here and put it in my just insert it through my the ties here through it. That way you've got a place to put them. Well, that one come off, but kind of hard to get on, but you work with it, you'll get it. See how it just holds it on in place? Just hold your balls in place by putting them on the tinsel. That's all I'm doing is putting it on the tinsel. Well, I found four. I'm going to go ahead and just do the four I've got, and I may put some more if I can find any more. I think I might have used mine up last year. But I'm just putting it down through the, through the little thing there, enough to grab it and make it hang on the stem because it can't come off. It's kind of secured in there. Okay, so see, I've got them on. Got them two on. Alrighty. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on his. Um, Let's see. It's just hard to show. The little welcome sign here. I actually had a little hope with it. You can glue it. It's fine. However, I just chose to have my little hole in it. And I'm just going to place it down here. On the bottom somewhere. It's hard to show you what it is for me to work with him like this. And I'm just going to take it and tie the pipe cleaner around the tinsel. Just tie it around the tinsel. A few times. Of course, I'll have to put him on my door, guys, to show you how I've got him. I'm sorry for that, but never done. It's hard to do a horizontal thing on a rectangle phone. Okay, so he's gonna look, see how he's gonna look something like this. But you get the idea, anybody new that's never done this or seen this? The tree's an awesome way to use as your pipe cleaners and it's so much easier and faster. So there's how he's gonna look when I'm finished. Might put a little more stuff on him. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the top for you here, how I showed you I was gonna do the hanger while I go. All you're wanting to do for the hanger, so you'll have your hanger. Take you some ribbon. And the top, the top stem here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fold mine down just a tab. And wrap your ribbon around it. Of course, you'll want to put your little glue on it to make it stay. Got me a new glue gun coming. I'm so glad this is so old. That's how it even works. <laughs> Okay, so just gonna wrap your ribbon around the idea of it. Just wrap it around. I should have cut some off. Let me cut some of this off. Just enough to like make it have some padding. Give it a little padding here. That's what we're going for. Okay, just to give some padding. You want to glue that down. Glue that down some. Or... And when you get that on, all you simply want to do then, you have a place to glue your pipe cleaner. I'm saying you have a place to glue your pipe cleaner instead of like trying to put it on the stem. So, I'm going to cut you a little piece off a pipe cleaner and make you a loop. Make you a 
little loop here. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? So you don't have to glue it. We're going to do this. Just going to put it on here. Kind of stick it down in there on the... Well, yeah, you probably don't even have to glue it, but anyway. See there how I've got it? When you get done, when you get it on, I've got to refill my gun, guys, but I'm not going to burden you with that. I'm just going to show you here how you've got on your little stem, your little area, and you've got the hanger right there to hang up with. Okay? Or you may have a better idea that works than that, but I'm going to get my glue gun in a minute and fix that. Okay? <clears throat> so there we go. Just a simple, simple, um... Halloween swag for fun made on an artificial tree. Halloween tree from the Dollar Tree. Okay? So let me get him on my board. And that's really all there is to it. You add more of the decor you want, as much as you want. It's your re. It's your swag. Okay? So stay with me. Okay? Be right back. Okay, so here's our creepy skeleton on the two Halloween Christmas trees. From the Dollar Tree. And guys, okay, I'll go ahead and tell you, I'm going to write down everything. Like I said, I wasn't planning to make this. I'd done it first time today is what you saw. So I probably done a few errors, and I apologize for that. But I will tell you this, everything will be written down in my description underneath. Very easy. And what I loved about it was the tinsels. Just, they're so awesome to tie your mesh on. So I will let you know that... You saw me put the two pieces, two pieces of mesh on one side, two on the other, that's four, two on the top with six, and I went ahead and added one piece here, and one at the bottom makes a total of ten pieces of meshes, cut at twenty inches. Now, I did forget something on here. I know, guys, I know, no wonder nobody watches me. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I thank you for all that do. But, if you can see what I forgot, and I know y'all probably know it, <laughs> But yeah, I left off the ribbon. Shame on me. So we can do that right now, okay? Right now, I just kind of done it backwards, okay? So here we go with the with the ribbon. <clears throat> okay, remember the three that I chose was the skeleton, the black, and the striped. And I'm going to work in threes, okay? They're cut at 12 inches. And the little ducktails. Anybody don't have to do, it, do a ducktail. Just fold it in half, you fold it again, and you cut from the wired edge into the crease. Just take your scissors from the wired edge and you cut, make a slit into the crease. You've got your duct tail. So here we go, I'm gonna put my three together here. Doesn't really matter how you lay them. Let's see, I think. Okay, paint them together like you would for your wreath. And I'm going to put one on the side crackle over here. I know you probably, well, get you where you can see. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm going to put one right here on the side crackle. There again, I'm just tying it into the pipe cleaners, I mean the tinsels. Twisting it on. And spreading them out. Just separate them. Three. And you can use more. You don't have to use three like I'm doing. You can use what you want. But I like the three. I don't know. I just like working with them. So if you can see kind of where I put the... Hold on, Frankie. Frankie's... See right here where I got the bows in. Okay. Ribbon. I'm sorry. And if y'all notice too, I added some little bats. I had some little bats. So you could add any of your decor, any decor that you got, guys. It's yours. You make it yours. The few that I watched of these who had made one, there was a couple. One was, her name was Kathy. I can't remember this. And there was another one. Craft decor. Something or another. I, looked, I just looked at a couple of them and I was trying to see which would be the best method. But they're all the same way putting your trees together. You just, the, the decor's different. So you decor the way you want. So let me get up here and put one right here. I got one there. I'm going to go right here with one. 
into the same way you did with your mesh, just kind of separate your ribbons. I'm doing a little backwards and I'm sorry, but we're getting it on. Separate them. I found a few more balls here that I have. Okay, there again, this is your your swag, so you get it how you want it. I'll get it anyway here so you can see that a little better. Okay, so we've got two bows, two sets of ribbons now. Okay, if you can see the ribbons. Now you can do your ribbons any way you want. You can add more up here to the top, which I may do in a minute. I apologize, I should have done them first. But you can add them anywhere you want, guys. More ribbons, more cruffles. The choice is yours. The thing is, you know how to put it together now. The trees, and after the trees and the cruffles, you've got it made. So, make you one of these little things. It's awesome. And it don't have to be a skeleton. You can put anything on it. The trees are really neat. So, I like the idea of the trees together. I really do. I thought that was really, really neat. Let me get you here, so... There he is. And at the bottom here, I may, for myself, put a bow on there to hang down. I might put this one on my door for a while, just to, I don't celebrate Halloween, but I do. Well, I gotta do something with some of this stuff. <laughs> but there again, my little grandkids like it. So, I may put me a bow down there. Of course, this is gonna go up for sale, though. So, uh, anyhow, there he is. Okay. So, I thank you all. I do. I thank you all today for hanging with me. Even though I mess up some, I still thank you for that. I know um, I'm unique, guys. <laughs> but I do. I just I thank you all. I truly do. I appreciate you. I do this for you. It makes me smile to know that some of you are really enjoying my videos. And so today you learned how to do a swag on a Christmas tree, artificial tree. So I'm just going to leave you with a happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thank you for joining me. And looks like, you know, I just want to add this. I may be having a redraw Thursday for my giveaway. I've tried to reach her on her. I have no response. So... Somebody's going to get another chance. So anyway, so Thursday's when I'll be doing one, guys. And if, if a Lynette don't come through for me, then I'll be doing a, a redraw. And um, thank you again. Have a beautiful day. Everybody, I love you. Thanks for spending time with me. Thank you again. Till next time. Bye-bye.